Hi, I'm Mark and I work for Timberwolf Tools. Today I want to demonstrate the Mafel ZSX, the chain beam saw, the ZSX 400. And this particular model is the carbide chain model. You can get this saw in either 230 volts or 120 volt. This is a 120 volt. Or um, a carbide chain or a metal chain. And in the metal chain, you can get fine chains as well as standard cut chains. And so today it's the carbide chain. And what I want to do is show you, first of all, um, I have said that this rivals a circular saw in terms of quality of cut. And what I've done already is cut this beam here uh, with a 16 inch saw to see what the cut is first with that saw. And then I will compare it with this and you'll be able to see it on film. So take a look here at this cut. I haven't removed any of the burrs. I've just left it as it was. It's a nice cut. And let's see what this machine can do. I'm going to use it in conjunction with the universal guide, which is a nice way of keeping it steady. It is not hard to sight the blade on this machine. Just flip that down, the guard, and you can see the, the, red, uh, the red guide markers. You can also sight the blade quite easily but I'm going to use this for a steady hand. I'm going to slip the guide on now. Bring it up tight to the work. Get on my line. You see how clean that line that saw cut is. It rivals a circular saw. And that's due to an anti-splintering piece that Maffel installs, this little black piece underneath on the base. I've got one detached here. That keeps your work from lifting up and splintering. And this is the hardest, driest, Douglas fir I could find. It's kiln dried. So you can see if it can do that in, kiln, in dug fir or what it could do in pine or other woods. The next thing I want to do is cut a compound angle because this saw will pivot up to 60 degrees in either direction. So I'm going to um, I'm going to cut now a compound miter cut. That one was easy. That's only a six inch deep beam. We're going to go now 10 inches in an 8 by 10 and a compound miter cut. I'm going to set it for 45. It pivots 60 degrees in either direction. Locks in at 45. Universal guide is set for 45. Compound miter cut, 45 and 45. Still smooth, clean cut. A good tool makes work fun. 